Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld. We've got the uh, the Fellowship of the Four over here, just about to hit Tuxkaba to do some trading. Um, does it give me, it says 0.1 days left, and their rest is still continuing. So they're just going to be waking up here in the next few minutes. Okay, so this could happen pretty quick. Uh, base movement... Okay, um, back over here to the dozen that have been left behind and showing us how well they can manage the colony without them. I've got a little bit of an experiment to try here. I have queued up Eric with 34, 35, 36 tasks. So we'll have to see just how well RimWorld can handle it. Or is it just going to skip all this and go to the last one like it's been doing lately? I went through and, and redid the conduit for the whole area through here to get the new sun lamp that will be built off of the turret circuit and reroute the turret circuit all the way around and continue it. And yeah, it's, it's, it's complicated. And I also need him to rebuild the circuitry over here so that... We're no longer, let's see, do I want that one there? I don't think I want that one there. But so that we're no longer charging all the batteries and and popping them into the circuit. Um, so power into here. If I turn that off, I don't think I want that there. So cancel you. Yeah. So power is going to come into here and then branch over to here or branch over to there and then continue out. And we'll uh, still we'll rework this later when we break it up into branches and switches, but that way I can turn on a bank, and no, that's still not right. I've got to rethink that one. Anyway, we'll we'll get that done so far, but let's run through all that is going on. Well, the sleepers I've I've learned that I can't give these guys orders when they're sleeping. I could say you know hold down the shift and click get a meal and then go do all these things and as soon as I run the game one tick later it, it clears and there's nothing there so from sleeping I cannot issue orders I can't stack orders to wait until after they they wake up unfortunately but Shantigo doesn't really have any meat to cook with so he's going to what's he doing he is wearing an uh, alpaca wool toque which three or four of them have been kind of swapping in and out of Kaya's doing that too right now so someone took one off and they've all got to try it and put it on and swap out theirs for it and then then someone else wants the one that they swapped out <laughs> but uh, i think kaya's gonna go and and prove that how good of a warden she is while uh, klaus is gone and she was just in there with purple so she's got a an in with him boy we're getting dirty in here gotta get that cleaned up um kaya you clean right when you're done with that can you clean this area there yeah. Anyway, so Shantigo's going to be doing that, refill the stove, and probably get on to butchering afterwards. Natalia is going to continue with the medicine until we get 60, or until she gets hungry, which is going to be soon. Miss Pete, I have asked to head up here and make us some more steel, and Sea Stars as well is heading up that way. Alicia, I've given the, the chore of turning on all of the, the uh, generators. See if we can't get this battery bank up again and maybe enough time to turn that switch on and get this one going. Yeah, I see what's wrong here still. I need the ability to... I guess these guys completely bypassing the the batteries and then tapping into one bank at a time so I can turn that off, turn this on, and have this actually be functioning. So this pathway needs to route out and go through here and over. That would work better. Not coming in from behind, which is snagging them and not letting me let go of them. So after this episode, I'll play with that again. It takes me a while to trial and error till I figure it out. Eric's got the big task of of deleting all kinds of conduit, while David has got the task of of uh, grabbing steel and rebuilding the conduit simultaneously. We'll see how well they coordinate that one. Uh, Grandma's sleeping, Sea Stars, and Kaios. We've got a hold of everybody. All right, so let's follow Eric and see what he's going to do while I'm telling you about my latest little adventure. Yesterday I had a molar pulled out. It's one that had gone bad about 10 years ago. And I had a real good dentist. Kind of expensive. So I... For the longest time, I didn't go to him because it's twice as much as the other ones around. But he does such a better job. He's got better equipment. And he's got uh, x-ray machines that, that take 
an x-ray with far less radiation and it prints it right up on the screen immediately so there's no waiting for film to develop and you know, all, all the modern equipment and he had filled that that tooth it's a molar in the back top uh, right next to where the wisdom tooth would be that uh, he'd filled it a decade ago it went real deep you know once it touched the nerves they like to they don't like to to, to deal with cavities they uh, you know, are filling them. It's a little too, uh, a little too deep. But he went ahead and tried it, and gave me a bunch of ibuprofen to make sure it didn't swell, and man, it it worked. He said he would give it six months, and then we needed to figure out a permanent solution. And ten years later, it finally went bad. So a boom loop is pregnant. So it's I, I can't afford to go in and have a, a replacement tooth put in there. So I told him to go ahead and and uh, see if we reconnect that. No, there, good. Uh, go ahead and pull it. And he numbed it up really good. I've had two other of the molars taken out over the years. And one of them I just replaced this year. But one of them, a, like an army dentist, went in and, and tried to get it out. And he eventually got out a hammer and chisel and gave it a pop. Cracked it in half and then pulled out the two halves. So I thought, okay, I've, I thought... I didn't know they really did that. And then another one couldn't get one out, so he ended up cutting it up into pieces and breaking it out that way. This one just put a, uh, a wrench on it and started to, like a pliers, and just started to twist and pull and lots of pressure and really uh, you know, put a lot of effort into it. Within five minutes, he had the whole thing out, roots and all. I was impressed, but it had a big hole in my head too, so wasn't supposed to do a lot of talking and... and uh, you know, only soft foods, no straws. Really taking my time. What is Eric doing? He is. I told him to get a, this one done so we can get the, the kitchen going. Okay, so he's going to work on that. So I want him to fill in these blanks here. Oh, good. Fill these in. Great. So last of the conduit over there. And oh, got more wood brought over. Great. And uh, so it's to the point now to where. I can talk just fine. I still can't eat solid food, so I'm, I am kind of cheating and eating on the other side really carefully. But, um, yep, it's going to be fine. And I'm guessing by now, these guys have to be there. Where are they? They are right on top of it. They've got to be there. Um, Caravan 1. Visiting Tux Kebab. Was there a message I didn't see? I don't know. I'll have to go back and look at that. They're they're here. I didn't realize that they got there. Huh. I'll have to go back and see if I missed a message. So we've got split. We've got settle. Oh, if this was an abandoned area, we could settle it. Settle in this area. Your colonists will enter this area, and you'll be able to start building a new home. So that's what we would do if we wanted to set up a second colony. Otherwise, uh, fulfill trade offer or trade. Let's see if we can do both. So let's go with this route right now. So offer side of the blade for orbital power beam targeter. Confirm. I'm guessing it's done. Do I need to unpause that? No message saying it was successful. Okay, items. Let's see how many scyther blades we still have. One, two, three. Do we have any way to sort this for one? No. Orbital power beam targeter right there so let's trade with them and see if it'll tell me what this is worth if i don't know let's let's see what's going on they got 21 15 silver we've got a thousand and a lot of things to sell them but let's see if we want to buy from them first so this is their stuff they have a rat <laughs> they have timber wolves hmm now nah, i Timberwolves. The problem is they will only eat meat, right? Raw meat, corpses, meals, processed food, and kibble. They will eat kibble. Maybe it's wargs that would only eat meat. Is there any real value to this, though? I'm not really sending the animals out to battle. Hmm. No, I'm going to pass on that one. You guys let me know if that's something that, that's a, that you really think we ought to do, but... This is, looks interesting, but I don't see it being truly functional. Um, 
over here. So four timber wolves, uh, two males, two females. Over here, they've got kibble for sale. You know, we are out of kibble. No, they don't. That's that line right there. They have pemmican for sale. We still have 509, so we have been eating it. Interesting. We have no meals left. Okay. We brought berries. We still have 120 berries. And we brought the pemmican. Guess that's it as far as foods that we brought. Still have all of our medicines. And okay, let's go down their list here. So they've got pemmican for sale. They've got meats. We really do need meats, but we're traveling. I don't see that uh, going well as far as spoilage. So I'm going to have to pass there. Um, they've got berries for sale. We've got plenty of vegetables right now. Components, theirs are too expensive. All right, so cloth, devil strand. They've got herbal medicines, lots of drugs. They've got steel for sale. That's heavy to carry back, though. Let's hold off on that, because I'm... I haven't got to the bottom to see if they buy animals. Uh, so all those are no's. Psychic Insanity Lance, they have one for 600. There's our backup plan. Backup to the backup. And that gives us one to experiment with next time to see how they work. That's a possibility. I'll hit yes for now and decide later whether or not that's a mistake. That seems awfully expensive. Seems like we bought ours in the... I don't know, three or four hundred range before, but maybe maybe it's not. Uh, scyther blades, they will buy them. Okay, we'll come back to that. In case we have to get rid of other things and we already run out of money. So, wood. They have wood for sale. That's tempting as well. So we'll see what our weight capacity is. Oh, it does tell us. Good, good, good. I was hoping it would. Um, they want to sell us these two. Wooden spear. Great bow, pila, cloth parka. And what is that noise? Like there's a fire roaring in the background or something. We're paused. So it's not like our base lit on fire and it's a, a noise that's traveling through the, the game. Uh, headdresses. Nothing in there we truly need. No. And that's it. Oh, they don't buy animals. Oh, they do. They're up here, right there. Okay. So, of the stuff that we want to sell, let's go this route. Alpaca, toque, normal, sell. Right there, Turkey Lith t-shirt, sell. Do not sell that one. Only worth 230 Our little power beam targeter for the devastation that it can cause. Let's read this thing. An ancient targeting unit for a network of power collection satellites. Ancient targeting unit. Hmm. Once aimed at a target, it directs ancient satellites to begin beaming power down in a massive column of electromagnetic energy. This power can safely be collected in a giant absorption dish. Is that something else we can get our hands on? Since you have no absorption disc dish, you'll be aiming it at enemies. Ah, so the ancients beamed it down to an absorption dish disk that made, or dish that made uh, a stored power for them. I see. So, massive early solar system. Um, you'll be aiming at enemies, at which point the power column will turn the area into a thousand degree inferno. This will last until the satellites detect the unsafe targeting, shut themselves down, and permanently deactivate the targeter. Aha! 230 silver for that. Huh, I would have thought it'd be worth thousands. Well, if we went to buy one, it would be thousands, wouldn't it? Um, keeping that. Great bow. Oh, I see. Because there's one over there, that's why the double column. Okay. Um, you, short, steel, 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 and steel. Okay. Negative 330 right now. Going that way. So we still owe them. Okay. Scyther blades. Boom. And already they can't afford it. Okay. So that's an issue. Let's get rid of... Well, let's pull back the Scyther Blade. Oh, that... that nope, that's not a Scyther Blade. Right there. Oh, I got rid of all three. That's what went wrong. Boom. That's more like it. Okay. We'll work with that. Um, 
herbals, we could sell them. Well, there's only five each. Is it really worth it? Probably not. It's only 150 for that. Though we're making it faster than we're using it. Which means it's actually going to spoil before too long, too. It was a two-year um, time span on that. And we're two and a half to three years into it. We're going to start losing some of this. Huh. Sure, we'll sell that. Okay. Though we may need it on the way home if we get into any kind of plague or something. All right, we won't go that route. We're keeping that. That's our, our food home if they aren't, well, if we don't get a choice of what to eat. Otherwise, kibble, that's ours. Would like to have bought some more. Uh, pemmican, and then do we want to sell? So let's get rid of the 12 year old muffalo. And that took us down to that. Get rid of both of the boomalopes. We do that. That doesn't affect the weight, though it affects what they can afford to pay us. Okay. Um, alpacas. That will affect the weight the less, the least. Then they're almost the same price. Interesting how this guy was worth so much more. Huh. So we did that and that and pulled back one side of their blade. Where are we at? Well, let's not pull back yet. Um, oh, that's pretty close there, huh? Hmm. I was thinking about bringing back some wood. Well, we don't have to. We can go and do a massive tree cutting this winter. Okay. So I need to pull back a scyther blade right back here. So take back one. They have this. They can afford that. Do we get rid of... If we get rid of... What do we have left in animals? We have one muffalo left. Okay. So we can't do that. All right. Anything else to do here to get this... To get more of their silver? we got to deal with the weight of the silver. Ooh. How does that convert? How much did the silver weigh? Okay. Oh, I can't... Did it account for... Well, well it's hard to tell. If I delete something, I, it could be accounting for the silver weight or it could be accounting for the item I'm deleting. Uh, Boomalopes have no weight. Okay, let's look at that. So, weight is 202. If I pull these guys back, it did move. So, 0 0.35, 200. So, it, it changed by 2.5 kilograms is all for that much. So, 2.5. Boy, calculator time. All right, let's write this out here. So, 2.5 over... Um, 166 twice. 32, th 330 equals, and looking at 1900x. Let's get into it. Boy, it's been a long time since I've done algebra. Pull out the calculator here. So if we were to 1900 divided by 2.5 times 330 equals... 2,508. What did that do for me? There's a decimal point in there. I'm thinking that's 25 kilograms. I think that's what I'm looking at. I need 25 kilograms more capacity. Or I'm going to have to leave all my silver behind or something else. Okay. So, you're going to make me think about this, aren't you? <laughs> Berries. There's some weight. Alright, if we dump the berries... So I need to get down to 180-ish. 180, that's 20. 190. That's 10. That's 23. Okay, so that would be close. So if I do this, it didn't dump me enough. <laughs> so we'll keep those. So I need to come up with, if my calculations are right, another 25 kilograms of capacity. The only way I can really see to do that is to take a, an alpaca back with me. So this guy right here, yeah, that would definitely do it. I can't toss another scyther blade in. They were 800. Scyther blades are 1100. Really? It seemed like only one. Oh, it was negative 300 plus this, so that's why I went to 800 the first time. Okay. So... 
I don't think I can get any closer than that. Though we do have about 25 pounds extra weight right now, or 25 kilo, uh, kilograms. So we could toss in some wood. Okay, let's do that for a little bit. Uh, wood is down here. They've got 505. If I put in 100, where am I at? Do that, that's 240. All right, it's not gonna get much. So, wood or steel. If we're gonna go that route, then let's do 50 steel, where are we at? That should just about do it. Okay. I think we have a deal here. Market value, category, nothing else to look at here. And accept. Okay. Um, we're right there. It didn't count the silver weight. It didn't count the silver weight. Okay. Then let's trade again and go for that last alpaca um alpaca three male seven male eight let's get rid of the male eight and that's the one that they've got okay i gotta get rid of this one so if i do that they have five they have 562 left so if i go that route i'm over by a lot okay didn't work Oh, well, I'm going to say we're good enough. I could give them a great deal on a scyther blade and give it to them at half price. Take their last 500 silver and go. Not much more else I can do here, huh? All right, we're going to call that done. So we are done. We are going to do what now? Um, trade, settle, split. Run it for a little bit. No, I thought I had to form a new um, caravan to go back home with. Don't want to split. Don't want to do either of these. So what is our next step here? Click on you, Tuxkaba, caravan. I don't know. Click here. Form caravan. That's out of these guys, wouldn't it be? Okay, let's go to Tuxkaba. No, I don't get it there. All right, how do you get home? <laughs> um, I want to go home. Split, settle, trade. If I form a new caravan here, I only get the dozen. So that doesn't do me any good. Cancel. There, there. I don't know how to go home. Visiting Toxkaba. Days left. 5.9 of food. Base time, stealthiness, 1.0, current tile movement, split. I don't, there's nobody that I want to split off. Huh. Well, let's come back and visit them a little bit in case you, they make you stay a day before you're allowed to leave or something. I mean, they're probably throwing a big feast for us right now, and and they're they're doing their their dances and and uh, showing off all of their their skills and and their culture and yeah. Let's let's see what happens in a little while. So over here, rabbit, what have you been up to? You are harvesting plants. Whatever happened over here? Um, let's let's pause here and kind of take a peek. Uh, I want to see power. So we're, we're little parts kind of scattered in and out of here. David, what you doing? You're building Klaus's granite door. It would be nice to have this room done when he gets back. Eric, what you up to? You are hauling to a standing lane. Oh, no, that's later. Okay. So your needs are fine. Let's, though, when we hit 10 o'clock, I'm amazed you didn't cancel everything and go take a, um, a cloud-watching uh expedition you're gonna do that um, let's fix this little thing here and then assign that to you as well so power needs to instead go through here down the front we're gonna choose yeah we need to oh wait a minute here power is going through you're not connected anymore how are you getting power into here we're not back powered or you go through and you die you're not connected anymore 
What's powering this base? I'm, I'm really confused. The batteries are powering the base. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, in that case, deconstruct this whole run right there. That goes away. New power comes through here. It either adds this into the loop and or adds this into the loop and or adds this into the loop. And without any batteries at all, it can power the, the whole place. That's the way it should have been from the very beginning. We can choose how many batteries we want to put into the system, but it's capable of running everything without any batteries. And if I want later to put a switch in there and kill it in case I don't want any power, which I can't think of any reason to do that. Okay, well, in that case, yeah, Eric, I need you to actually abandon everything you're doing. Come straight over here and fill that in. And we'll, we'll just see how far you get. So you weren't that far away. Let's watch you do it. Otherwise, did Kaya ever convince Purple? I take it not. Okay, Kaya's playing some some Eric Riad, playing some uh, chess over there. So how many did you bring? Tell me you can fill in these last two. You're making the loop and you're going to dump it all into a battery, aren't you? Yep. Then come on over here and do this one as well. Thank you. Now you're going to dump that into a battery. And you're going to come over here and fill these in. Okay. And then... No, 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 no. You want to wear a pigskin duster? P pour 100%? What do you got on? Gear, your duster is 66%. You've pretty much worn that out. All right, all right. Then when you're done, come over here and get to work on that one. And it's probably time to get rid of that uh, horseshoe pin. Ah. Anybody else? David, what you up to? You are viewing art. Do you really need to? You're doing pretty darn good. Why don't you come over here and finish this? So pop over in here and do that for me. Let's see if you can buzz through here and, and get uh, these batteries kind of recuperating here. We're running everything from there. Eric's on his way back. He is going to help out. That's it. And then fill all these in. And we should have power charging our batteries again. Yes. Okay. Charge that. And I think for today we'd better also... Oops. I want to do that. Let's do that as well. Um, David, you building power conduit. Oh, we filled that one in. Okay. Let's come over here and flick this switch. And then let's have you tear down all of these old ones so that there's no confusion as to what this was or is or is never going to be again. All right. That's all done. And this is finally functioning the way it's supposed to. Again, later I might put a little switch room right in here and come out of the power source into some switches and go different directions, but it depends on what ever happens when we tear all this down. All right, so with that, these are all gone. You are going to work on that, Eric. You are going to continue. No, you get the power conduit. And you've got the power conduit. Let's send you a whole different direction. Eric can handle all that. Let's get back over here and continue filling in all these blanks. So work on power conduit there and cannot where's another one let's see how much you bring on your own if you bring 75 you'll you'll uh, handle all that and you've got seven okay let's try that a little bit better let's also well i guess i'll just have to manually do it do that one afterward hmm. oh the trees are all in the way. You won't put it in where there are trees. Which means we got to get that done immediately in case we get a raid. We have no turrets out here. Okay. So, well, we kind of do. We can flip this switch and get power to there and to there without the rest of the loop down here. We just won't have power to this guy. But who is down in this area that is just dying to cut down a tree? Um, I would prefer to have rabbit harvesting and stuff but with your growth skills so high I'm guessing that you can do this just by staring at it kind of a superman uh, x-ray vision cut tree once you take down all the trees in the pathway of our new greenhouse there that it any trees around here 
Um, but that's not blocking. No, we do want to take that out. 15% uh, grown. Okay, that'll be fine. Okay, Rabbit will take care of that. David will fill in what he can that doesn't have a tree sitting on top of it. I think that's what's going on. And you guys, I still can't get you home. Health. Needs. Everything's okay here. Um, social is actually really good. Very few reds now. So nobody's insulting anybody and all that great stuff. Um, gear. And there's the gear on these guys. So Kaya, there's the the uh, armor vest you were asking about. It would be the same on every, every one of them. I'm used to gray ones, but we're using white for... I guess the last few versions of RimWorld. Um, social. Yeah. And numbers. Uh, this is Handy. So Handy and Tomislav, the numbers have gone even worse. So Sangria and Klaus, 5721, they've gone worse too. So I guess they're not doing any socializing while they're on this trip. That's just not a thing, apparently. And then items. So I don't see anything that lets me... Send them back home. There's no destination. Um, can I right-click on something? Enter Freedom's Drift. Caravan 1, Enter Freedom's Drift. Attack Kaba. So let's try that. There we go. All right, I wouldn't have thought about right-clicking on it. I thought it'd be return or something, kind of an option over here. And it looks like we're moving. So we're done there. Now, if I were to re-click over here, I can go back to visit. Okay. So I could turn around if I wanted to. So we're on our way home. It is 3 in the afternoon. Needs. Rest is pretty good. Food is good. Yep, we should be back in 3.1 days. With 5 days worth of food left. Or something like that. Yeah, five days for the food left. Okay, so we're good there. They're on their way. We'll see if we get any kind of attack or anything else that, that happens. Even traders, I've heard, is a possibility. Um, Rabbit, did you... Harvesting? Just plowed right through it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> um, not Rabbit. Shantigo, you are butchering and cooking. Good. Um... But you're just maintaining kibble. We are out of kibble. We are out of kibble. We need some some game in here. We really do. Let's do a quick massive hunt and get some real butchering going on, so we can get some game. We are out of kibble, and that's going to be a problem tomorrow. We got deer up in here. Ibex over here. So I mean. The game is fine if we could get it in, coming in fast enough. We have some alpaca in here. They're not likely to, to kill us if we shoot them. So we got these guys, but it's not raining. Okay. Um, nothing closer. Great when herds show up over here. Or somewhere you know near our gauntlet. Okay, I need I need a hunting party. We're going to have to get some food in here. So we can keep the animals from starving. So that... 27, that means there's one stash somewhere, probably down in there. 27. So these, the pigs, none of them have got any food. Okay, let's take care of this problem. Rabbit, I need you. Needs. Draft. Go. We're going north. Go up and... We're going to take out these two. That'd be enough to get by for now, I think. Go here. Trantigo. Good. Draft, go here. Cathra, food okay. Draft, go... Draft, go here. Natalia, sleeping. Leave her alone. Michael, got the, the, the good gun. Draft, go here. Miss P, uh, Night Owl, leave her alone. Alicia, ready to... Your needs to eat. Otherwise is ready. So, draft, grab a meal... Meals are down to 35, and that's all we have now. So we're, we're manually feeding the prisoners again. And we did. Dropped off and dropped off another one. Uh, come back to Alicia. Time left, three days. Time left, three days. Two people fed purple. 
Interesting. <laughs> Two people got the orders, and I guess it's not counting as having been fed. I don't know. Alicia, you're going to grab a meal. Then you're going to pop up over here. Uh, by that time, you can come up to... That's probably the place right there. Okay. Eric. Thump, thump. Um... No. Down animals do not give you any points. That's right. You have to down them yourself to get any points. So we'll skip you and David for now. Grandma needs... You probably should grab some food, too. That's going to be too long of a run. So, draft. Grab some food. And then, come on up to this area. And then, Kaya is pistol and... Pretty iffy on the food. The others were about that low, too, though. Do you have a meal on you? Uh, gear, you do not. And Chantigo, you were the other one that was kind of down there. Rabbit's a little higher. Yeah. Chantigo, grab a meal first. Do that. And then pop up to the, the second one. Go here. And who was it? Kaya? Same thing. Draft. Uh, your mood is pretty good. You like that block cutting. Good. Let's give you a meal. Yep, there's ten in that stack, so no problem there. And then hop up in this area. Right there. Okay. Let's get you guys going and see what we can do over here. And see if we get an emergency message that uh, we're being attacked over in the other one. All right. Otherwise, Eric's down over here, filling these in. Eric, why don't you, first of all, haul this one. And just get past, good, haul this one. And granite's what we have the most of right now, right? Boy, barely even that. Well, we've got more marble, okay. Um, yeah, take that a little further away from the door, right? There's good. Now, why don't you fill in all of these, fill in all of these, and then fill in a bunch of that. And let's see what that looks like when it's done. All right, so what's happening up here? We're starting to to head into there. Where all are we coming from? Kaya's on her way from there, but she was going to get a meal. Oh, maybe she just had her meal. Could be. There's Alicia. Okay, so I'm guessing these four are the are the first ones. You guys head up into here. Alicia's following. Kaya's following. Is that all I got out of there? Grandma's grabbing a meal, so she'll be following after that. Sea Star's sleeping. David's talking to Purple. Eric is working down here. Okay, that's it. Beavers. New plan! Beavers. Okay, jump to location. Over there. Oh, they're such a long way away. Okay, well, let's do that and hunt. Boy, I would love to do that, but this is so much closer. I mean, we're, we're here. Okay, let's... Let's do this. Um... We're going to shoot that pig anyway. Come on back over here. We'll get Alicia in there. Right there. All right, you guys. It's already starting to get dark. Go ahead and take the pig out before it rampages. Oh, come on, guys. All right, let's, let's try this a little bit better without a tree in between. Uh, here. Right there. Cathro is no longer inspired. Take out the pig. Okay. Good. Got him. Okay. And Kaya, a bunch of you head up to here. Yeah, we'll get the game in this area. Call that good. We can haul six home. There may be Grandma's on her way up too, so seven. And go ahead and target this one. Okay. Raccoon's going to attack. I think they can handle it, but let's go a little bit further. Where is the other? There were two alpaca. They're right there. Okay. Go this way. 
right there. Take them out. Okay. And let's go. Pig is moving up into the trees. Let's go right over here and take out the pig. Okay. And let's take out the turkey. Okay. That one actually took out. All right. So we've got one, two, three, four four, five, six here. Grandma is on her way up. She's She's got a peg leg. Give her give her some time. Um, we need to head this direction. Grandma, let's just give you a specific order. Let's have you... Um, that won't help. Okay. You specifically hunt. Hunt. Raccoon's just wandering. Okay. Hunt you. And was there one more wounded? If there is, I'll find him. So, Grandma, why don't you specifically head up in here and hunt this alpaca? You're drafted. That's why it's not working. Hunt alpaca. Okay. You guys head to where? Let's take down a few more things. We got that turkey to come go after, too. Uh, there's the other one to hunt. Okay, so let's go this direction. Got an ostrich over there. I'm not going that route. So right over here, kind of a bad place. See if that works. That worked. All right, another one to hunt. Um, actually, we're kind of more animals to hunt than we've got hunters, so let's start pausing and do that. Okay, you're done. And you guys... Oh, the steam vent going off, that's what I'm hearing. Let's go after this turkey over here. Pop into here. We'll do a turkey and a pig and call it done. Is that rain? That is rain. Oh, boomalope time. Um, 1900 hours. No, not today. But let's take him out. Okay, you're done. All right, Kaya, need you to hunt this one. Um, everybody else, let's undraft. Did that not work? Oh, there we go. Kathra, need you to hunt this one. And Alicia, harvesting strawberry plants. So let's have you hunt this one. Haul. Okay, we'll do a haul. He needs to be hunted. Who's left? Rabbit. You tackle this one. Okay. Kathra's got a plan. Yep. Kaya does. Alicia does. So Shantigo and Michael are the ones that are left. Nom, 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 nom. Okay. Shantigo, what do we miss here? I know there's a turkey to haul in. Is there anything else that is down that needs to be dealt with? You know, I kind of don't think so. Haul this one in. And Michael, you are hunting right now. I need you... Oh, you don't haul. <laughs> Ah, in that case, Kaya, stop. You are still down. Kaya, you will not haul. What? You're dead. Kaya hauls. Go. Oh, I see. No, I need you to stop, Michael. So I need you to hunt that one. Kaya, come off of draft and haul that one. Okay, I think that gets everything in. Any other wigglers I'm not... I didn't see. That one's being dealt with. That one. That one. That one. That one. Okay. What's Rabbit got? He's got a sniper. Okay. Antigua's going after that one. Michael's taking out that one. 
I think everything's on its way in. And now the night crew can get kibble going for the night. They won't get it hauled necessarily, though I could tell them to haul to nearest stockpile, but that does take a lot longer. Um, dare I walk somebody up into here and take out some boomalopes in the night? Could try that. Natalia loves night hunting. You are making medicine. You want to give it a try? Let's give it a try. Uh, Miss P, you'd probably like to join this too, wouldn't you? Needs. You're actually... Well, Natalia just ate. Okay. So, Natalia, you head up north. Let's give this a try. If we get real close, but not too close. How... If they rampage, though, if they go after us, only 2.1. Um, I say only, but Natalia is also kind of slow. 3.1. And Miss P was 3.1. And Sea Stars is melee. That's not going to work on Boom Lobes. <laughs> okay, so Miss P, you two are going to do this. Um, I want you to jump up and grab a meal. That didn't work. Consume corn. Let's try that again. Right there. Consume a meal. And Natalia. Natalia, you're drafted. And you're on your way up. You can get started. Now, they don't seem to aim very well at night in the dark. But we'll see how this works. Everybody brought something in, right? Buffalo is pregnant. Pig. 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 Alpaca. Alpaca. Turkey. Turkey. I think that's all accounted for. Okay. So, Miss P, you are going to actually draft and consume and shift and click to go over there. All right, you guys, how you doing? You're still traveling. It's 2100 needs. Russ is getting down there, but not dire yet. So, will they stop at 22? They're not on my schedule anymore. Yeah, they're not here anymore. So there's no orders to tell them to stop at 2200. So I don't know how that will work. If they're just going to go until they're uh, they're exhausted. I have to wait and see. Natalia, you're on your way, right? Right over there. Okay, that's your path. Through our really slow doors. How would we get power into here? I guess we run it across break one of these and then be able to work on conduit on two of them and then put a wall back in and then run down to it and actually run through the wall and then that's probably the route so miss b you will be heading there next see stars you are working on this stuff let's get you working specifically over here and then over here your food is fine that gets the rest of the prison done in this area as far as well, you're going fast. You really want to go to bed as far as digging it all out. Klaus is there. That's as far as Eric got. Oh, because I called them all the way. Yeah. No, I didn't. Eric and David were still here. Now, power is holding. Good. We have two switches on using eight batteries at the moment. So tomorrow will be a first full day if the rain goes away. Uh, getting to use this stuff. Who is up? Sea Stars? Boy, I would love to have you fill that in. Or fill, you know, fill that up. And I would love to have you butcher. That's right. I need this stuff. I need meat and and kibble made. So, do you cook? You're horrible at it. But you can give it a try. Let's assign you to butchering and see what happens. Right there and there. And let's butcher out. Now, I have set kibble to the top. But if there's no meat... She'll butcher one, then she should dive right into uh, into kibbling. We'll see how that works. I did go back to all four benches, got kibble set up, and I set them all back for hay. Because we've got a lot of hay. We're going to make it through this winter. Miss P's over there. That means Natalia just arrived. Okay. Here's the plan. You're going to go... I'm going to start over here. In case they do revenge. If they don't, then fine. And let's see if we can fire at and hit. Chance of hitting is 5%. Now, if I send you to here 
and fire at. Chance of hitting is now 8%. Oh, hit. Woke up a couple of them. Oh, hit two of them. Oh, good shot. Let's go a little further in. I say a little bit worried. And... Go ahead and fire at this one. We're going to wound all of them, it looks like. Uh-oh. Okay, got him. Twice. And Miss B's getting there. Miss B, come on over to here. That's what I was looking for. Natalia, fire on this one. That's going to light other ones on fire. We're going to get a lot of meat here accidentally. Boomalope, do that. Miss B, fire on this one. That was a big explosion, too. Speed back up just a little bit further. And fire at Natalia. Back up a little bit. Thank you. Whoa. Was that a lucky shot or is Miss P that good? Character shooting four. That was a lucky shot. <laughs> and turtles on fire. Um, let's peek over here. And fire at Natalia's over there. Fire at. Uh, don't get any closer. Okay. Yeah, that's not happening. Over there. And fire at. Okay. Turtle died. Oops. Turtle. Okay. That one's down. Miss B head up here. What else do we affect over here? You're down. Rain is going to put them out. Pig got shot. Okay, the two of you go a little closer. Right there. And fire at. Give them lots of practice. Chance of hitting. Probably very little. Injured. Okay. Boom. And continue to fire at. Could take all three out here. Got him. There it is. Fire at. Before he runs to you. Got him. And was there another one? No, nope, we're all good here. You're going there. You're going there. And that took care of all of the boomalopes. Guess we should take out this pig while we're here. Just put him out of his misery. Guys, head up over here. And... Oh, there's still something in there. Fire at. What's going on here? This one. Okay. Do this one first. Oh, that one's done. Okay. Come on. P has a 4% chance. Okay. Let's try to work our way in and around some trees here. And try again. Okay. Come on. So close. There it is. Okay done. Pig is done. Let's have Natalia. Hmm. If there's meat down here from that last butchering, then she may be forced to kibble. Natalia, undraft, and butcher. Yeah, you're going straight to here. Um, let's reset that to butcher first, and then try that again. Natalia, you're in the middle. You're Actually, you're altered your, your position there. Butcher. And that's still not going to get you to haul anything, is it? It is not. Darn. Okay. Well, Miss Beep, undraft and bring in this boomalope. Okay. And the butchering, that gets Natalia butchering, which is a good thing. Okay. So we'll do that. And Bill swap the kibble back over. And kibble still 27. Sea stars went grab some hay. Though we have hay right here. 
Would have been nice if she had grabbed the one closest to the bench here. Anything sitting outside in the rain? Well, we have all that. That's about it. About it. Twelve rice is all. Okay. What about the other greenhouse? No, we're fine over here. Okay. So hopefully some pigs get in and get most of the stuff in in time. How bad is it now? It's already half deteriorated. More than half. Not good. This stuff, we may lose that stuff. But we've got so much more. Okay. Um, where am I at? 56 minutes? It's probably time to call this one down. We had a couple of good hunts. And uh, the the dozen that are that are maintaining the base are doing a great job. 7,800 hay over here. And with that and that auto-save, I think I'm going to call this one finished. Toast with Noble Rambler. Catch you guys later. Bye-bye.